Hello people YouTube, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another uh, video on the Golf Club 2. This is my another tutorial type video. Now I've got my my phone camera set up, hopefully it's at the right angle. It's, it's, I could actually really do with somebody else here just to check that that is on my control pad. This is my control pad here. Now I did a video before where I basically uh, showed you my cradle grip technique. Um, and I don't know, I think I did explain like a draw shot on it, but I'm, it's probably better light uh, using my, my phone. I've got a bit of sweat already. It's actually quite warm, it's about 8 o'clock in the morning and it's clear blue sky, it's going to be an absolute scorcher there day. Right, so basically, a lot of people play like this. With all, I, I don't even. I'll try to do this where I replicate what people do with a flick. <coughs> Something like that. That's not really a great shot. I struggle with tempo on that type of swing, but I just find that although this shot can be accurate once you get a style but for me it's not accurate on where you go you usually tend to favour one side so it may be a fade shot it could even be a draw shot what I use the, the cradle technique which I just think is a far better way to grip because as I say this hand sits like that and then that other hand comes across and you're really swinging with your arm at your elbow and it's, it's just it's a straight up and down motion. So basically, like a golf game, I mean, golf is all about technique. It's all about your backswing, how you you get to the top of your backswing, and then you transfer the power down, and you get that club head going straight at the, at the ball, or the club face straight. And that's what a golf swing's all about. Um, and it's the same in this game. I mean, there's different ways to hold a control pad, and there's not one method is better than the other, but I think fundamentally this method is a lot more stable, I think. Um, so one of the key things that, that I tend to use is, this is your, uh, I keep, uh, do you know, I've done this, I've done this video a couple of times, and I always forget with this, touch pad. This is your touch pad, but if you look at the actual end of your touch pad, there's like a, you know, you've got your kind of case in here for your, your uh, grip, your controller. But the touch pad ends and there's an actual line, and if you look at that line, it's almost perfectly in the middle of your analog swing. By the way, these are uh, grip protectors. I've got on here, there's slightly a little bit more height in them, but this is just to protect the, the thumb grips on these. So basically, basic setup the cradle grip, grip it like this, pretty basic, two fingers in the middle, four finger pinky outside the, the buttons at the bottom here, doesn't have to be that way. I mean, you could hold it like this, you could hold it like that. I mean, there's all different ways, but I, I, I like to put my thumb on the back of this uh, analog stick. And if I hit a fade or a draw shot, I tend to favour that for the fade. And basically what I'm doing is setting up at an angle. But I'll just go ahead here and hit a fade shot. So my head is down here. And I'm basically, my eyes are looking straight down the control pad. And I can look and see that line. And I get my, my finger. I'm, I'm, I'm almost slightly offset my finger to the side. That would be like a draw shot. And that would be a fade shot. And it, it's a slight move you're doing to the side. So here we go, let's do a fade shot. And there you go. <coughs> That's just so so. Probably actually went okay because we're both the same. So let's let's do that again, but let's try and get a perfect this time. 
There we go. That's better. I think my thumb, my thumb is slightly sort of proud of the 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 edge of the the, the pad here, and it basically kind of interfered. <clears throat> so I put my thumb a bit here. Yeah, let's do another fade shot. So really, I'm sighting my line down to the side. I've got a glitch back swing there. And there you go, that's probably just maybe slightly outside the cone. But we actually still get a good shot. It, it doesn't really, it's not a bad shot that, that we hit there. Let's try another fade shot. Okay, we get the glitch back swing, which can really ruin your tempo. So that for me is like a normal fade shot, right in the edge of the cone. Uh, and why do I hit a fade shot? Well, it basically holds into the wind. If the wind was coming from the right, the right hand side, I would basically hit the, the fade shot into it. Now, I draw a shot, I bring my thumb slightly round, and I, I'm kind of like twisting the pad in my hand, but I'm keeping those sticks going like straight, so I'll turn it a little bit. Check my grip alignment, let's go for a draw shot. Again, another glitch back swing. And there we go. Right on the edge of that cone. Now you probably say, oh that's like a miss hit. But <clears throat> you know, it's not really a miss hit if you if you basically intend to hit that shot. Uh, you know, that's just the way I swing. And there we go, this. And it's it's perfect on that. <coughs> so you know my grip changes a little bit, but I don't do this. I actually move it in my hand like this. And it it looks I say it looks silly, but it, it's just you know that's a draw, that's a fade. And it's a slight movement in the hand. But that's really all it takes. So let's let's take this to the course. Let's play because, you know, our driving range is okay, but it's not like, it's not like the best scenario. So we'll actually take this. Now again, I'm playing offline mode here, so I don't have a lot of courses. I've got the official TGC courses. Um, what do we play here? We'll go for Goldfinch. Right, let's play off the... White tees, and we'll go pin set one. We're not really too too worried. Hopefully this this hopefully this is in the center. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I've got this really dry cough. But it, it's the grip style might be uncomfortable for a lot of people, but it's it's left stick swing and. Your hand kind of just comes over. It, 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 it's for me. It's just second nature. I don't even think about it. And hitting a draw and a fade, it's a very subtle grip change for me personally. But it, it, it just—it's really hard to sort of put that. Once you get the idea of getting the straight shot out of the equation, it it becomes a completely different game. So the wind's not really too strong here, so I could actually hit a fade or a draw shot if I wanted. So I'm going to favour the right side of the fairway here, because I'm going to hit my, my usual draw shot. So I sometimes do that when I, I bring it up to my eye, and I'm looking at this line, so I'm going slightly to the, to the left. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Double glitch back swing. And there we go. It's a perfect that's a perfect tee shot. Good tempo. And we do get the draw swing there, as you can see, it, it did go over slightly. Now unfortunately in this video I'm not really demonstrating like the kind of wind shot, which is a bit unfortunate. It's 186 yards. Um it's not really that much up or wind, so it's pretty much Probably actually going to hit this in six iron. I'm maybe just a touch of a loft on it. Yeah, the wire's going to go out that way. I'm going to set up for, for the draw shot because that is my favourite shot. And you, my, my swings, it, there might be like a pause element to it. 
There you go, that was perfect alignment. Maybe just a little bit shy. But it's very much... It, it is rhythmical. So I'll put it here. Again, I use the same swing for my, my putting as well. 12, 3 inches up. Okay, we missed that putt. That was actually quite strange. It seemed to... It seemed to really start to the left. Putting is a game all of its own. Uh, it's hard to do a tutorial on putting because it's so so finicky. It can really... I mean, one day you could be sinking putts, next day you're, you're missing putts. Right, par 3. 219. Quite a, quite a long shot, this. Seven down, probably my four hybrid is about right. I don't think I'm going to put anything on it. Now for this shot, <coughs> excuse me, oh god, his throat's so dry. For this shot I'm actually going to have a fade. And what I'm going to do is, I'm probably actually going to go, maybe just ever so slightly to the right of the target. But you see there, see my draw shot, I was set up like this. I'm going to set up my fade shot, see how my grip changes a little bit. I move the pad, kind of rotate it counterclockwise. So I look to see if I'm in the right plane. And there you go, there's the fade shot. And that's just going to hold it against that wind. Yeah, that's the actual shot. The alignment was absolutely perfect though. That's, that's one of the, the, the key things there. To see that's the glitch backswing there, see how it actually swung forward there. But the backswing glitch, I've, I've not seen this many glitch, I don't know whether it's because I'm, I'm offline. Well, there we, we hold the bunker shot. Okay, let's see what happens here. Uh, excuse me. I'm surprised the car hasn't been round. Right, here we go. Okay, I'm probably going to hit the draw shot. I'm going to aim over this side a little bit. Again, you see my finger position, my thumb position is different. <coughs> From that last grip, it was tighter into this portion here. Clutch back swing. Again. Now that's drawn over a it's almost just outside the cone, we're probably gonna get away with that. Yeah, well we'd almost get back onto the fairway. Okay, the ball's sitting up pretty good here in the rough. Right, I'm probably actually gonna draw this because of the the why we've got. I'm going to just deal off it because we, we need to hit it a little bit further. Let's yeah, set, set a draw. See, we don't get the glitch backswing there, and to me, I'm prepped to go in that first shot. So I actually ended up a little bit long. This is not really... I, I mean, this is really just a video to have to really put the spotlight on the, the actual cradle technique. Which I just think, if, if you're struggling with a game and your, your consistency is not there, uh, do this swing technique because it's just so much better. So I'm not really worried about putting as... If I concentrated a bit more, I might... 28, 4, 32... My knee screen's actually 187. They're actually really fast. Which is good, I actually prefer putting in, in fast greens. So I really do hope this camera is on this, because if it's not, I've wasted the entire footage. Almost had a birdie there, just wasn't meant to be, I guess. And that'll keep you at one under for the Here we go, next hole. I probably just can do the, the, the nine holes. It's just really to show you, to showcase how you, how you swing. 
as I say, drawing and fading the ball is, is really the way to go. Because you're more consistent because you're actually picking a shot that you're going to hit. And nine times out of ten, you can hit. You, oh, you can always hit that shot. Uh, whereas if you try and do a straight shot, I mean, obviously with two clubs, it's a bit more accentuated. But So here we go, four. So I'm probably just going to hit. Do you know what? I'll probably I'll, I'll hit the fade. So we'll favour this side. And we'll fade it in a touch. So again, you see the setup. It's, it's different from my... Uh, my draw shot. And there we go, there's the fade shot. Right on the edge of the cone. I mean it, it's it's usually where I want to uh, <coughs> want to be. Oh god. I actually need to give me the moment I get a drink of water here. Nice, nice. Alright, looks like you're about two hundred and forty five yards out at this point. Oh, I hear a car coming. So it's really just a tickly cough I've got, or a kind of dry cough. There he goes. Hello, boy. Don't we don't we don't want to see a bum hole. So the cats will be due that the uh, breakfast actually. Right, this is actually quite a tricky shot. It's it's actually not. We've actually got really a good lie here. Probably just want to aim slightly to the to the left of the target because I'm going to have a draw in here. <clears throat> Could we actually hit the two hybrid? Maybe just deal off it ever so slightly. Let's go for it. Let's set up the draw here. Perfect. Looks like you're going into the right uh, it's going to be slightly short, make a good hop. Yeah, there we go. I'm actually quite fortunate that the, the three wood would have been way too long. Uh, the two hybrid was just a bit right. Got a bit of a fortunate bounce, but you know, we made the green. Right, what have we got here? Bit of a mixed bag. I would say it's more towards that side. Oh, that just made it. <coughs> In the back door. Three under for the round. So that's actually an eagle we get there. So the swing technique's very for me it's fundamentally probably the best swing you can use. And to hit a draw on a fade, to me, is is the better shot because you're actually you know, you're not hoping to get a straight shot and then end up hitting a draw or a fade. You know, you're actually saying, Do you know what I'm gonna hit a fade off this tier, I'm gonna hit a draw. It's actually quite a tricky shot. I'm probably actually going to fade it because I want to get the ball moving up that that fairway up that way. So let's set up for the fade again. I jam that into my, my thumb, and that sets up the angle for me. So here we go, thumb down a little bit. I can't see my shot indicator. It's actually perfect. I can see it on my my delayed stream. We might find the edge of that fair bit. Yeah, that that's probably a shot that you really probably should hit a three wood or something. In the rough here. So because this shot is angled, so I'm, I'm actually uh, the ball's above my feet here. I'm actually going to hit a fade. <coughs> so I could probably actually aim this straight. Wind's maybe not that much, 24.9. I think I've got the fade shot. My, my car is sitting at the moment watching the... As the cars go by the window, well that could be in the hole. As, as the cars go by, there's like a, a shadow or a light reflection of the sun. And it's, it's actually going in the wall and the car just sits and watches all the... The, the reflections. Oh, I should have got that. So I can't actually see my shot indicator, which is. Mm, you can add them in either. 
two parts from this, almost identical. Vader, you coming down? Vader. Just looking at me. So that was a great shot in there, actually, when we end up with a bogey. So here we go. Eight miles per hour, so I'm definitely going to draw this into, the, into that win. And what it will do, it will hold the shot and then it will start coming off at the end. So let's, let's draw this ball in. I feel that's a perfect shot, yep. <coughs> and once you get into a rhythm, uh, it, it's, it just becomes second nature to hit a draw or to hit the, hit the fade shot. So hopefully you're picking up just my style and the way I do it. It's it's funny because I don't really if I watch this video back and look at the, the way I swing, I don't really see it the way that, that I do it live because it's just I don't know it's different. But when you see it from another angle, it's quite it's quite different. And my throat's really starting to go here. So about 171, just, right, we're going to hit a draw here, so we go to the, the, the right of the target, bit of a, gl a glitch back swing there, and I think I've got that right, I, I need to look at my delayed feed because I can't see it because of the cart, and then you see it actually drew back in, and that's a perfect shot. So if you do hit the draw shot, you've got to adjust. Oh my goodness. Phantom break is just a killer in this game. So that's a perfect example <coughs> of the phantom break. Basically there's no beats. I usually check it, but sometimes you just you just want to put it's indicating that there's no break, but obviously there is break. So we missed that putt. Clear indication of Phantom Break at its finest in this game. Here we go, par 5. One straight in a face. We can either hit a draw or a fade here. I'm actually probably going to favour the fade if I'm honest. Oh, that's a glitch back swing there. Another glitch back swing. Two different glitch back swings there. Now that that's a perfect fade. So hopefully, I just I, I hope to God. Oh, we hit the rough. I just hope that this this my phone camera is capturing this at a nice angle. <coughs> because I'm 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 kind of. I've tried to do this video a couple of times, but I'm not going to get anywhere. Oh, Vader's coming down. Right, where do I want to go here? I'll we'll probably just hit some like a, a 7 iron. Just try and get it up there a little bit. <coughs> <coughs> oh dear, excuse me. There we go, perfect shot. So, I mean it's like a tutorial video but I'm, I've kind of explained the basic and you can see how I, um, I, I'm actually holding. <coughs> the control pad, and I'm really struggling now. I feel my throat's getting more tickle, too ticklier. In fact, even my word, even I'm, I'm really, I don't know. The last few days, I've just, I've not really, my speech has just been, it's a bit of an effort, uh, because it is cold. Right, one, three, five, seven. So that's probably actually a perfect nine iron. So again, I'm going to aim to the to the right here and hit that draw shot in. So you can see sometimes when I go forward, I've got like a kind of flick almost. No, oh, it's perfect. Oh, maybe not. Look at that break. Okay.
That was not a good putt. Those putts are so dangerous. I mean, that ball is still rolling. We never get it high enough. <coughs> oh, I do apologise for this call. Okay, let's try and get this in here. Okay, this is not easy. Really didn't hit that at all. Four feet. Let's do this. Putting really is about feel. It, it's so hard to teach. One under for the round. Because sometimes you screw it up yourself and you're teaching it. It, it doesn't look good. I played kind of scrappy the last couple of holes. Really down to putting errors, to be honest. Tee to green is probably actually pretty good. Let's just. That's probably actually going to be okay. We'll just hit this stock again. We're going to hit the draw shot. That's double backswing glitch. Now, sometimes you're just going to kind of walk away from that in a sense, and then reset because it can put you off your, your swing. So there we go, uh, we get a slow backswing, which doesn't surprise me after a, a, a backswing glitch. But we kind of get away with that. Cat's wanting his breakfast. My goodness! Disappointing there. Oh, we're missing some putts. This is this is not a, a putting tutorial. All right, let's take a peek at the scorecard, and that'll keep you at one under for the round. Right, last hole. Okay, here we go. Again, went straight in the face. Actually, quite a difficult hole. This. Um, to be honest, I'm going to cop down. I don't need to hit the driver. We'll hit three wood. We'll just get it drawn slightly. Get in another backswing glitch. And there we go. Another perfect draw. So, I mean, as far as like hitting, putting has not been great. Um, but hitting shots, you can see how I get in a rhythm. And I've hit a couple of uh, fade shots as well. But as I say, most of the time I do go for a I draw a shot. I'd favour the fade here a little bit, although this is a pitch shot, so 68. That could probably be just about right, I think. Reset that. Okay, just slightly to the, to the left. Pitch shot, I don't know, I've been struggling uh, with pitches sometimes. I mean, that's just a pure shot. Really, that that should have been pretty close. And it ends up going quite a bit by. I really don't want to even hit this putt. This is my nemesis, uphill putts. Up six, twenty. 66. What's that car? It does say mum. It, it's. It, I know people say oh, it, it sounds like a bit of a problem, but actually it is mum. What is it, Nikon? Little six footer here, nothing too scary. Nikon! Here he comes. He always comes with me, call. Why is it neck on? What time is it? Neck on, is it, bre is it breakfast time? So that's the, the front nine done. I mean, it's not it's not a bad score. Uh, we're, we're under par. <coughs> Putting-wise, it's not been 
all that good. But really that's just to show you the, the swing and I mean hopefully it's kind of hopefully it, it looks good because that was in kind of full four off the tee. I didn't really hit I don't really think I had really a bad shot. You know, if I hit, if I went for a draw, I, I hit a draw. If I went for a fade, I, I hit a fade. So guys, that's going to conclude this uh, grip tutorial. Uh, hopefully you find that helpful. I know a lot of people found my other video helpful. And it's fantastic when people actually do something that, that you've actually taught them. You know, put out a video, a tutorial video, and they actually look at it and go, "Do you know what? I'm actually playing better through this grip." And I, I think I really do think it is the best way to grip it, because your thumb flick, unless I, sometimes my thumb it, it moves, it, it wobbles. It's just not with that. It's it's a really nice motion, and it's it's I, I, it's just straight up and down. As I say, and you're moving your control pad for fade and a draw. And that's the way I play. And hopefully you found that video helpful. So guys, once again, thanks for watching. Uh, I've actually really done well in subscribers. I'm up to about 121. <coughs> I mean, a while ago I was actually just almost breaking 40. So hit that subscribe button. If you found this video helpful, drop me a comment. Just say that you've you've maybe kind of adopted it or it's helped you in some way, um, but it's definitely worthwhile using this this technique. I just think it's I just think it's self-explanatory. It's so easy just to do that, and it, it's I don't know. It's it, I, I, I've just found it to be the best. I've used that swing. Previous Tiger Woods games, Roy McIlroy games, or game, because there's only one Roy McIlroy game out uh, so far, but for golf and analog swings, you know we can't beat it. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Take care. Bye.